Hey my loves, welcome to my internet home. My name is Tesh and today we are going to do a video about understanding dimensions. So I'm doing this video specifically so that you can understand the growth of the soul's journey through the dimensions and just because we're going through the growth of the soul's journey it brought me to the dimensions that we all live in in the different dimensions so I get to break that down for you so you can see how your soul grows through each dimension in the universe okay so when you're in the first dimension 1d okay that's the initial spark of life that's what I call that. That's the initial spark. That's that Aries beginning of life, that initial flame, that initial spark before you actually have a full flame, okay? That's the initial thought. A lot of times that is your spirit being born, the beginnings of a spirit. I love that part, you know? So before you were actually made into a soul, you were in 1D. You were just a spirit, okay? Then from that spirit, from that thinking of that, that first initial spark of life, that first initial spark of yourself or that thought of you to yourself, it brought you to saying, hmm, I may want to do something with this spark of life that I have here. Let me turn, let me hold a certain vibration because I like the vibration of this, of this universe. So that's when you came into 2D. Okay, so 2D is where your soul lives. All right, that's the creation of life, the creation of your emotions. It's where your body is actually coming into form. That's where your vibration lives. Okay, it's where duality lives. It's where you become... You start to relate to others and things to that nature. So you're living in 2D is where you're starting to have those experiences as a soul is what's happening in the second D. All right. Now in 3D, is where 3D life is. Okay. So this is real life. You're watching this video in 3D. So this is where 3D is where you're, so you're, you're in your surroundings or you're part of your surroundings. You're, you are the surroundings. This is where your body, animals, and just basic human life really happens is on this plane here that we are in today. Okay, so this is where you get that 3D effect from where we're in 3D world. And this is where 80% of the world dwells, to be honest with you. Most of us that's on this earth or most of you guys that are on this earth do not go past 3D life. A lot of you guys are very comfortable here and it's nothing wrong with staying there. If you're comfortable there, stay there, but that's not where the growth happens. So a lot of times if you stay here, you will be reborn to then live again, to then learn the lessons that you had refused to learn if you choose to stay in this part. So just know that most of the world lives in a 3D realm where they're just dealing with real life. They don't go anywhere past what's in front of them right now. They don't think about what's beyond the veil, anything that's happening beyond the veil, behind the veil, anything that's not in front of them makes them afraid. They're very comfortable with just having somebody else save them, or they're very comfortable in just not believing that there's anything outside of the world, but what they see. That's where you may have a lot of atheists and things to that may live in this realm as well, which is fine. Again, no judgment. I'm just showing you where 80% of the world lives is in the 3D realm. Now, when you're trying to manifest and go through a true soul's journey and spiritually awaken to what the universe is trying to awaken you, you have to move past this realm. OK, and a lot of you guys will have those awakenings and sometimes you will be open to them. And sometimes what your gift is or what whatever um, gift you naturally have may make you so afraid that it keeps you from going past this realm. But this is where, again, 80 percent of the world lives in 3D. All right. So they are not. 
alchemists or manifestors on the level of the 20% that chooses not to leave, live in 3D and just be amongst the world, you've gone to a 4D. And I should have probably left. Let me leave 3D here. Okay, so when you get to 4D, you start to judge what's happening in your surroundings, all right? This is when your third eye kicks in. All right, this is when you start to flex this muscle in 4D. And usually when that third eye kick in, it's usually kicking in with something that's extremely scary. You're seeing somebody that you love and cherish act in a way that is inappropriate for you, or better yet, you're acting in a way that is inappropriate for you. And the universe is calling you out on it by showing you this through your third eye. You're starting to see beyond the veil and make judgments. And a lot of times when people get to this point, they get so afraid of what they see, they run right back to, to real life, to 3D. They say, fuck it, it's too hard. I got to deal with this, 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 and this. I'll just go back and, and sit and listen to somebody else tell me what to do. I won't even be a person with sovereignty. I will choose not to use my sovereignty or better yet, I will use my sovereignty to go back to what I'm accustomed to instead of growing my soul with what I'm seeing here. Because now you're using your higher self. This is where your higher self live at. All right. So you're thinking about what you're doing in 3D. You're saying, okay, hell no, nah. this ain't working for me. Yeah, I've been, I've been going through this circle in 3D over and over and over again. Ain't nothing changed. Let me go ahead and see if I can take it another way. All right. So at this point, once you start making those judgments from your 4D self, using your third eye and your higher self and saying, okay, this ain't working for me. I want to go a different way. That is when you hop into 5D, all right? When you choose to make the changes in your life from the thoughts and the judgments that you had about 4D, about your 3D life, that's what pushes you to 5D. So now we're in 5D. And we're using our authority, okay? So now... You're using your authority in your surroundings. You're making decisions from your higher perspective about your life, period. That's when you're in that 5D dimension. And it's not just, oh, I'm just going to leave him alone, but I'm still fucking him and I'm still cooking for him and he's still like, no, that's bullshit. That's moving out of the area, cutting people off changing your environment, changing what really was going on within you to even allow that type of behavior in your life in the first place. That's when you're doing the real soul's work. Everybody gets to a point where reality sets in and they're like, damn, I'm really in a fucked up place. And then there's a crossroads at that point. And a lot of people, 80% of motherfuckers say, you know what, I'm gonna go back to what I'm used to. I bet I'd rather be with the devil I know than the devil I don't. It's rare, 20% make the decision to say, okay, I'm a, it's time. I'm the hierarchy and counsel in my life and we ain't even there yet. But at least you're able to say, okay, something's off. I'm going to work on that. And you're in the authority. This is where our demigods live. So at this point, you're being a demigod in your own life. This is where our planets reside. If you're looking at it at a planetary alignment, Remember, it's a spirit, a soul, a body, your higher self. Now you're with the planets, the over souls. Those are the ones where the 4, 4D is where spirit, your higher self, your over souls, they live in 4D. Then you become your demigod. A demigod is like a lower, a lower god. And that's where the planets and stuff live when you get into 5D and you start actually making moves.
moves on the decisions that you made when you were in 4D. Okay, let's move on. Once we start making those moves, we then start becoming an authority. People start coming to you. So this is when you start walking with your light. Okay? At 6D, you're walking with your light. You've released people, places, and things that were burdening you. Your life feels lighter. You may still be going through some, of course, some spiritual awakening stuff because you got a few more dimensions to go. But you're walking in your true self. Your light shines bright from within. So when you step into a room, people see you. Why? Because you're not walking around with burden and drama and craziness and crazy people. You start feeling a lot lighter when you get that off of you. It may hurt in the beginning to release those people, but I tell you, it feels so much better in the end. By the time you get here, you feel so light, you can't even imagine going back. You trying to figure out how to cut ties with every dysfunctional thing in your life at this point. That's where you are. So now you're up there with the sun, you're with the stars as far as the planetary alignments go, okay? You become a source. People start calling you for answers to questions. People start calling you for life advice. People start seeing you as a role model when you're living in 6D, all right? So you're fully in your spiritual awakening at this point. There is no... Um, negotiating it at this point. You're in it. You've accepted the challenge and we're here. You're walking in your truths, all right? So when you're getting, when you get to this point, you start then learning how to walk in this truth. You learn how to walk in your life. You learn how to be a role model. And while you're doing that learning, you're living in 70 Okay. And while you're doing that, you're also judging people as well. So you're looking down at, and I'm going to say looking down because you're at an angelic place in your life when you're at 70. Okay. Now you're learning how to be in your light. You're learning how to live. You're learning how to watch people, and how to judge them properly, okay? It is okay to judge people, but you can't be in a place where you feel like you're better than and da, da, da. No, this is just I walk in a certain light and I'm not going to allow certain energy around me. Certain energy can't even hardly come to you if you're living in 70. They will be automatically repelled because of the energy and the vibration that you live in, Okay? So this is a very angelic dimension to live in. Um, and what I love about 7D is at this point in life, the universe allows you to cast judgment on others and situations without feeling penalized. You're entitled to cast judgment at the point in 7D. You may not think so, but that's what our angels are doing above. When they're looking down of us, and they're seeing how we're, we're fucking up or how we're doing good. It has, it's all in them judging and then bestowing the blessings or taking the blessings back. It's just that simple. Okay. So this is where also, if you want to think of it at the planetary alignments, it's our solar system is where the seventh dimension lives at. Okay. So once we grow from there, we start exercising this power that we've learned because remember, we are learning here to be in our angelic place. We're learning how to stand in our light. We're learning how to cast judgment. All right. So once we've learned that, we can move into our eighth, eighth dimension. When you get to the eighth dimension, you start to experience your power. We start to experience our strength. We start to enjoy the fruits of our labor and you start experiencing your seventh dimensional body, that angelic body. You start to live in it, you breathe in it, 
you walk in that vibration. You're still learning a little bit, but it's just simply releasing at this point because you're living in the experience at 8D, okay? You're actually a lot of times really shocked at the amount of power you hold once you get to this point. You will see how well you flow with the universe. The universe will come to you and, and show up for you in ways you will never imagine. They will show you how important you are to them. The universe will, okay, once you get to eighth D. Because you're experiencing your power. You're living in it. You're showing up in your true divine body, in your angelic body, all right? So this is where we, where I will say the galaxy lives, All right, so it's the sun, and it just goes like that with all the planets, the solar system. This is how it goes, all right? And the galaxy is where eighth dimension is, all right? So all of this with the planets, the universe, the sun, the solar system, all of this going on is our eighth dimension. It's our whole galaxy. But again, if we switch it to our soul's growth, it's us fully living in our angelic power. We're living in it. We're no longer learning. We're not trying to feel comfortable in it. We're experiencing it and God is showing it to us and we're moving in that realm in full, okay? Now for the ninth dimension, once you get that experience in down pack and you're fully living in it and you're you're knowing who you are. You just live in that ninth dimension, which is wisdom. Okay? Which is wisdom. Overall wisdom. This is where our God conscious live. Now, with our God conscious, we then know that we are one with God. We know, and, and not, not these fools out here, they're talking, I'm, I'm a God, and they out here acting a fool and they ain't acting like it. No. We know that we are a God. We know that we are one with God. And we know that we aren't the God. But we know that we are our God. And that's when you get to this ninth dimension with wisdom. Okay? So... It'll be wisdom in all experiences. They won't raise you to this ninth dimension if you still fucking fuck boys, but you're doing good in business. You're not in the ninth dimension. You're just still fucking fuck boys and good in business. That's all it is. So this is wisdom in all experiences. And this is just knowing that you are your own God. Once you get to this point, you've become one with God. Because you recognize your true internal strength. So this is the highest level. I don't know about 11 dimensions, guys. Um, I haven't gotten that download yet with the 10th and 11th dimension. So please don't ask me about that. I know somebody's going to ask me. I don't know about all that. All I can say is coming to the ninth dimension, you're at your God conscious. Okay? And that's it. So... This is when you graduate and you get to fully live in a very happy state. So I think I've broken down dimensions in the most simplest form where it will not be too complicated and you should be able to understand it as far as how your soul is growing, okay? Do not be emailing me, telling me about the 11 dimensions. I don't know about no 10th and 11th dimension. That's not the download I got. The download I got is that there's nine and I'm sticking with the download that I got, okay? All right, my loves. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.